Hello all my Hello Maniacs out there, welcome back to the channel, it's so great to see you today. Now, uh, today we're going to be talking about the brand new uh, Mickey documentary, Mickey, The Tale of a Mouse. Oh boy! <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to be honest, I knew that this documentary was coming, and I had no intention of watching said documentary, just because I assumed I already knew most of the stuff they were going to talk about. I've been watching Disney documentaries since I was like 12, and uh... I've read so many books about it that I pretty much know most of Mickey's history. But, Disney sent me a code early, so I'm like, well, let me go check this out. And um, I was like, if I, if I liked it enough or I have something to say about it, I'll do a review. And so here I am, making a review, because I have something to say. And also, they sent me this really cool box of stuff, which I'll go through it at the end of the video, so if you want to see that, stick around. And I also need to state this right off the bat. Disney did not pay me to make this video, but they did send me a free code and sent me that free box of stuff. But these opinions are wholly my own. They didn't ask me to make this video. I did it because I had something to say about it. But yeah, I want to talk about the documentary first. Um, I really wasn't planning on seeing this, because um, like I said, I thought I knew everything that happened in Mickey's story. And for the most part, yeah, there weren't that many surprises. But there were some. Like, for example, this one gets told pretty early. I was not aware that the whole story of how Mickey came to be that train ride back from New York City uh, where Walt came up with the idea for Mickey, I thought that was set in stone. But apparently, Ub, who worked with Disney and created the final design of Mickey, said that that's actually not how it happened. And he and Walt came up with it together in the animation studio. So they're like, nobody truly knows. So that was something that caught my attention. And also, I was a little surprised that this was not the Mickey's perfect, Mickey is amazing, da 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 da, da that I was expecting to have. But no, they talked a lot, a lot about the pitfalls that Mickey has had. They talked a lot about some of the controversies that Mickey has had. A lot of controversies that the Disney company has had surrounding Mickey in the past. How Mickey has been used for things that, you know, Disney didn't necessarily give their approval of and things that, you know, were controversial in and of themselves. I was surprised by how much controversial stuff is around Mickey Mouse. But yeah, they go into that and I'm surprised at the level of how real Disney has gotten and allows some of this stuff to be talked about. I really like that and show that the company is not infallible or try to protect their name so much that they're completely ignoring stuff. That, let's be real, we all know. They're a company, we get that. So I like the fact that they're being real about some of this stuff. I would have liked them to be a little more real and the fact that there's some other stuff that's happened with Mickey that they didn't address here, like, oh, I don't know, continuously changing the legislation for public domain so that they can hold on to Mickey for as long as possible. That, that, that's a little, that's a controversial thing that they did not touch on, and I really think they should have, but, you know, they talked about controversial stuff enough that I'm like, I'm, I'm surprised that they talked about that, so I'll give it that. It was a really good, truncated history of Mickey's life. And uh, one of the really interesting things is that throughout the entire documentary, you keep going back to a few legendary Disney animators that are still working at the studio as they're creating this minute-long, short, kind of a celebration of Mickey's history. And you get to see this process happen. You get to see the rough animation, all hand-drawn. And that's really cool to see. And it's really cool to see uh, the finished short. I don't know if the short's going to come out separate from the documentary. I hope that it does so more people are going to see that because the short's really cool. It's only a minute long, but still, it's beautiful hand-drawn animation by legends in that field. I'm just a sucker for hand-drawn animation. I, I'm just excited to see more. So overall, I'm glad I checked it out, and I'm glad Disney sent me that code so that I was able to uh, enjoy this. Otherwise, I totally probably would have just skipped right over this. So I'm glad I checked it out. And if you've got some spare time and you're curious, hey, this is a pretty cool one to check out. Nothing revolutionary. This isn't, if you've followed Mickey's story, most of it you know, but there could be a few surprises in there like there were for me. And that was, that was enough for me. Maybe that'll be enough for you too. So all right, let's see what's in this box. So, oh, Mickey, the story of a mouse. Oh boy. I really love the top of this box though. <laughs> so one of the first things we have is we have this little tumbler with uh, Mickey, the story of a mouse on it. Very cool. We also have the, these Mickey cookies. I don't know if you can see it because of the bow, but yes, they're Mickey-shaped cookies. I will definitely be enjoying some of these. Ah, there's another one. Oh, this is cool. It's a uh, happy birthday ears. Uh, oh yeah, because it's Mickey's birthday. Duh. 
That's probably why it's coming out right now. <laughs> Sorry, I had a brain fart about that. But yes, it's Mickey's birthday. So, happy birthday! <laughs> oh, and here we have some Martinelli's. I love Martinelli's. It's so good. So, yes, I'm going to have a little bit of this while I'm eat my cookies later. Oh, oh, but that is cool. These are like legit, like studio drawing pencils. Oh, that is cool. I like that. As someone who sketches all the time, this is cool. I don't normally have like legit studio pencils. I normally just use a mechanical pencil and deal. So that's, that's cool. And I think there's one more thing at the very bottom of the box, but I don't want these these things to go everywhere. This little like packing confetti stuff. I do not want that all over my studio. Is this like a journal or no, it's a sketchbook. It's a sketchbook with Mickey. All these uh, great drawing sheets. And that feels like really good drawing paper too. I like that. As someone who does a lot of sketching himself and loves to draw, I will be making use out of this. <laughs> so thank you so much, Disney. I appreciate it. And if you guys are interested to check out Mickey, the story of a mouse, it's out on Disney Plus right now. You can check it out for yourself. And who knows, you might learn a thing or two about our favorite mouse. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys later. Bye. Mm -hmm.